Hey guys, Casual Game Guy. So, a little bit uh, of an update on my computer project, and a little bit more uh, insight as to how it's going. So far, um, progress is a little slow. I am waiting on a few more components to come in. I've got a new processor coming in. Uh, and then after that, I just need some new RAM, and I'm thinking about upgrading the video card already. I've got a 2 gigabyte uh, DD, uh, GDDR5 uh, ATI, or XFX, sorry, Radeon uh, R5 230, which mm, not the best on power consumption. But I do, however, have another uh, power supply unit coming in, so hopefully you know, I'll be able to alleviate uh, any potential problems. Um, I've got the new Adobe software installed. Uh, I'm running currently CS6, and that'll be uh, that'll be fun to figure out. So we're looking all in all maybe about another two weeks before I start getting professional videos uploaded for you. Um, so just a quick overview of progress so far. Not much has changed. Except I've got these spiffy new uh, packaging said they're 80 millimeter fans. I'm not quite convinced that they are 80 millimeter sized, but I've got four of these, and I know you can't see all that well, but back here is a slot for my graphics card. Uh, you can see the DVI port right here. Uh, there's the VGA somewhere up there in the HDMI in there somewhere. Uh, I think the HDMI is like right here. Uh, you can't really see because my big fat hand is blocking it. But um, I've got these fans pointed directly at my uh, my GPU, my graphics processor, and it keeps it pretty cool. Um, temperature wise, uh, I'll show you my temps in just a second here. But temperature-wise, it stays pretty cool. Um, I've also got this 120, I know for a fact this is a 120 millimeter fan up here and back. And that is set to blow out. And this is just a big exhaust hole, which I've got cables and crap running through until I figure out how to mount the hard drive and the slimline SATA drive, uh, SATA DVD which I'm going to upgrade to a slimline or some other uh, SATA-based Blu-ray drive uh, later on, maybe in a month or two. Um, but temperature-wise, we're going to open this up, show you that, uh, you know what, I kind of need to do this here. Woo, screens of doom. All right, so temperature-wise, we've got, our uh, processor, which is right here running at 53 degrees Celsius. Um, it's about, uh, I want to say that's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I'm not 100% certain on how to uh, do the math about, uh, you know, how do temperature conversions work. But as you can see, 37 degrees on temp one, temp two is 53, which is about normal, about average when I'm running things like open broadcast, which is, you know, this right here. Um, hard drive stays at a nice cool 25 degrees. Hard drive number two, which is this ginormous behemoth uh, one terabyte or three terabyte, sorry, hard drive that's up here. Uh, that's sitting at 19 degrees. And that's because of the um, the position that it's at. It's actually getting uh, getting some, uh, I guess, cross suction going on with the uh, warm air pulling out. So it's got a nice little flow of air, I think. Um, GPU, which normally runs really hot uh, without the fans, is only at about 29, 30 degrees. Uh, Celsius, which isn't terrible, but uh, I'm not comfortable with it being that high. It's about 67 degrees, 60 or 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and a processor 
core is sitting exactly where it should be at optimum at optimum efficiency at 45 degrees Celsius. Um, and just a quick overview of the specs I'm running. We've got, uh, it's of course Windows 7. We're running on a 4.2 uh, experience here with the graphics being the lowest subscore here. Um, it does game fairly well and uh, I just I just wanted to game a little bit better. I've been playing a lot of uh, Star Wars The Old Republic and uh, yeah, the graphics get a little buggy uh, during peak server times. Uh, as you can see the sub score is 4.2. Um, this is a little blurry but this is 5.9, this is 5.9. Uh, my RAM is basically as good as it gets. The processor is as good as it gets. Um, and if you guys are wondering what the processor is, it's an AMD Phenom 965 3.4 gig processor. This is the Black Edition processor, which all that means is that it's the budget version, and it's really powerful in this system. Um, the upgrade that I'm going to be putting in here is a 3. Point, I want to say 3.5 or 3.6 uh, AMD F. M80 something 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 uh, it's an it's an FX 8 series processor um, so it's got 8 cores in it so it's going to be a little bit more stable and uh, I will be upgrading all of the RAM in here this is going to be a solid 16 gigs of RAM across the board uh, we're going to be using I want to say G-Skill RAM because of the good things I've heard about it. Otherwise, not too much uh, has changed. We do have, uh, I will be building my wife a gaming case, so maybe, or a game, <laughs> gaming computer, so maybe, you know, she'll be joining me in Star Wars Online, maybe not, but hopefully she'll be able to enjoy uh, the games she wants to play, like The Sims and whatnot which I do hope to be getting for her. And I do hope to be playing a lot more GTA 5 online as soon as I build my new rig. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more game footage of that as well. Um, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Casual Game Guy. Have a great week!